What's going on guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So today what I'm going to be doing is uh, just showing you guys how to make a uh, DIY license plate delete. So I did a video on this a while back, but uh, the filming was kind of like subpar. So um, since this got broken in San Francisco last time I was there, someone rear-ended me. Or not rear-ended me, but I mean they were trying to park and they probably bumped into me. That's how people do it in San Francisco. They like use bumpers back and forth to like damn, 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 to like get into the parking spot it's kind of crazy but anyways um so i'm going to show you guys out of a piece of uh, abs plastic basically how i make this uh plate delete and i think it works out really good i mean like i said it did break but it didn't cost me 60 bucks it cost like less than a dollar and uh i think altogether it turns out really cool so um i'll show you guys what you need and we'll go ahead and start making this thing all right guys so this is what you're gonna need so you're gonna have to go to a uh, plastic store I went to uh, Taps Plastics, which is a local place by me. Um, I just got some black ABS plastic. This stuff is, um, this is 12 inches long by about one and five eighths. So if you look at your front bumper on your Subaru, um, you can just kind of get a rough estimate or a rough idea of how long that is. And you'll get a piece of plastic just cut out like this. Now this has pieces of uh, just kind of pieces on the front. So one side is, um, has a nice shiny piece to it, like a nice shiny side. Um, that's this side. And then on this side here, there is kind of a more, uh, it's more of a matte side, like a matte finish to it. So you guys can kind of see that. So there's the difference there, that and that. So um, what you're gonna need is just a piece of this. Um, like I said, this is really cheap. Um, I just have a DeWalt drill that I'm gonna to use to drill the holes to, uh, to mount it up. I have some uh, an index of uh, drill bits, so I'm just gonna use some of those. And I have a dual action sander. Now you can basically just use a piece of sandpaper or whatever, but uh, I have some sandpaper on here. Let's see what grit this is. I don't know, I think this is 240 grit, but anyways, you can use pretty much any grit of sandpaper. Um, and what we're gonna do is use that to uh, sound on the sides to make it look all nice and pretty. So let's get to it. So first off, what we're gonna do is uh, also, you may need a vise or just something to hold this in. And we're just gonna take this piece, um, put it into the vise. I'm gonna use this shiny side out. So that's basically the side that I'm gonna be rounding off. So we're just gonna use that side right there. Um, just pretty much gonna put it in here, tighten it down in the vise. Um, you don't have to tighten it too awful much, but um, just get it sort of tight. We'll plug in the sander and start rounding down those edges. All right, so there you have it. It's uh, pretty much sanded down. The uh, the edges look nice and round on there. So as you can kind of, you guys can kind of see, um, just kind of rounded off the edges on it and it looks nice and smooth. All right guys, so I just grabbed the uh, old license plate from my Mustang right here. So it's a little bit up, but it'll it'll do the trick. Um, what I'm gonna do is basically just set it on here. Um, set it on like you would see it framing your license plate there. And then I'm just gonna uh, line it up in the center. Take a screwdriver, pretty much just uh, poke holes in the uh, center two spots where I would uh, drill the holes out. And now, I can go ahead and grab a drill bit. So I'm just gonna grab the 3 drill bit. That one should work fine. Um, go ahead and just put it right on here. Start drilling out that hole. All right, and then we'll drill out the other hole. Whoops. All right. Okay, so now I got my two holes in there. Um, kind of clean this one out just a little bit more. Now I got those right on there. Um, now what you can do is you can go ahead and remove the plastics from it. Or not the plastics, but the uh, kind of the little wrapper that they have on there. Um, remove the front, remove the back. So here again, you can kind of see the difference. See, that's the non shimmery side and that's kind of the uh, the real nice glossy side right there. All right guys, so then what you can do is go ahead and take your side. 
Um, I'm just gonna basically just take a sticker. Uh, this is a cob sticker right here. And uh, I'm just gonna apply that. So now I can just take my favorite little sticker that I wanna put on here. Um, go ahead and apply it right in the middle. Backing on that sticker. Boom, boom, boom. All right guys, and there you go. Um, basically just took this, um, mounted it all up, put the sticker on there, and now we can go ahead and mount this on the car. So it uh, looks really nice. Um, you know, it looks just like something that you paid probably about 60 bucks for. Um, but like I said, this thing cost you a lot less. So anyways, guys, I hope you like this. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe um, this video with everybody, and we will talk to you soon. Later, guys. Peace out. Pretty sweet place. Um, fun. Nice to stay at. Awesome views back there.